Hi everyone, this is Monique from BTE Magic. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well during this time and are still motivated to prepare for your BTE exam. Um, and anyways, um, today's video will be a bit different because um, you know normally I will demonstrate to you how I answer certain questions from the BTE exams. But since you guys are coming from different countries with different backgrounds and with different accents. I have decided to collect the students' answers. The students who already passed the exam, already got 79 plus or even 90 in the actual exam. So I was a student myself, so I know that besides learning from the teacher, sometimes it's actually very useful to learn from other peers, especially from the students who already achieved success in the exams. So without further ado, in this video, I will show you guys the recordings of those students. But if any of you are not my subscriber yet and want to see more videos like this, then please quickly smash the subscribe button below. The beginning of the 21st century will be remembered, not for military conflicts or political events, but for a whole new age of globalization, a flattening of the world. The explosion of advanced technologies now means that suddenly knowledge pools and resources have connected all over the planet, leveling the playing field as never before. The picture is about over a barrel forecast increase in world oil population. On the x-axis it shows years, on the y-axis it shows million barrels per day. On the x-axis it shows 1982 to 2000 and 2000 to 2010 and 2010 to 2020. And in the y-axis it shows million barrels per day, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. In the red color it shows non-OPEC, in the yellow color it shows other OPEC and in the blue color it shows OPEC Middle East. It shows that OPEC Middle East has the highest production in 2010 to 2020 and the non-OPEC has got the highest production in 1980 to 2000 and overall it shows over a barrel forecast increase in world oil population. Mass extinctions of land-dwelling animals, including amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and birds, follow a cycle of, of about 27 million years, coinciding with previously reported mass extinctions of ocean life, according to a new analysis. In Abu Dhabi, where fresh water sources are very limited, sustainable water management is a high priority. The region receives on average just 120 millimeters of rainfall every year, but the country is seeing demand for water increase by almost 40% annually. In this situation, it is clear that Abu Dhabi needs to boost the efficiency of water use by increasing water recycling. The successor to the Hubble Space Telescope has been delayed yet again and will not launch until approximately May 2020. The James Webb Space Telescope is also in danger of busting the cost cap put on the project by the US Congress. Back in 2011, politicians on Capitol Hill said the observatory should not take more than $8 billion to build and 1800 to operate over the five-year period in orbit. Nell and his colleagues took to the Everglades at night hunting for gators near and far from nest. You have to use a spotlight and you see the little demon eyes shining out the marsh. They lessened the gator, pulled them into the airboat and took blood samples and body measurements. In 1861, Matthew Brady, a well-known portrait photographer, approached President Lincoln requesting permission to move freely about the country photographing the Civil War. Lincoln granted him permission to travel anywhere with the Union armies, and his record of this conflict brought home to millions the horrors of war.
Much of today's business is conducted across international borders, and while the majority of the global business community might share the use of English as a common language, the nuances and expectations of business communication might differ greatly from culture to culture. Humans need to use energy in order to exist. So it is unsurprising that the way people have been producing energy is largely responsible for current environmental problems. Pollution come in many forms, but those are, that are most concerning because of their impact on health result from the combustion of fuels in power stations and cars. The given U.S. provide information about average monthly rainfall and temperature. Firstly, I can see different elements in the image such as millimeter and temperature. I also can see rainfall and January and February. One of the element, April, is maximum which accounts to 280 millimeters and another element, August, is minimum which accounts to 25 millimeter. Furthermore, I can see different numbers in the image such as 50, 100, and 150. I also can see different months of the year, which includes January, February, March, April, and May. To conclude, the image provides informative information about average monthly. I would like to advise them to join with PT Magic, where teachers are really helpful. One on one consultation is provided with all the feedbacks that you do require to get your targeted score. So I would like to advise them to join PTE magic. Because of you guys, I managed to get a 90 each in PTE. I have started from nothing to like 90 in PTE because in the start I was very afraid and I didn't know what to do. But now I'm very confident and I keep on telling to everyone that you should rather try PTE instead of IELTS. <laughs>